Hello and welcome again everyone. My name is Chris if you don't already know and today the video is going to be about how to flash um, a different ROM onto your Redmi Note 4. Um, right now my phone is the MediaTek version. Of course it's always going to be a MediaTek version because of the processor um, but this guide is going to be different for the for those that have the Snapdragon variant. Um, but I have mine came with a custom stable build um, with the Play Store services already installed. Um, but I need to flash over to the China developer um, ROM also in order to uh, unlock the bootloader. That will be a totally separate video. Subscribe so that way you can get notified when I release that video. Um, also, if you haven't already checked out my unboxing of the Redmi Note 4. But anyways, let's dive in and we'll get started right away. There are going to be a few things that you need to download first as prerequisites. Um, you're going to need to download a the drivers for the MediaTek um, device. You're also going to need to download the Flash tool itself. I'm going to leave the links down in the description so that way you can download them. Um, I'll upload them to my own personal uh, drive, Google Drive, that way they're always there um, in case the links that I used go down, things like that. First you need to install the drivers. Um, I'm running Windows 7 just to let you know. If you're running Windows 10 you will need to uh, reboot your computer into um, a, the driver disabled verification mode. Um, so basically you're going to have to Google on how to do that. I can't really show you unfortunately, but it does involve going to your start holding down shift and then clicking on restart while holding shift. It will take you to like a troubleshooting menu. Um, you're going to have to go into like advanced or something like that, but um, the exact steps you will need to, uh, to Google unfortunately. Um, anyways, if you don't do that, you are going to run into issues with the drivers not installing properly. But in order to install your drivers, go ahead and run driver install as admin just to be safe. Um, it will warn you just if you want to install the drivers, go ahead and click on yes. There should be like three or four of them um, for the sake. I'm not doing it since I already have and then it'll prompt you to restart your computer. Go ahead and do that as well. Anyways, now after your drivers are installed, you will need to install the flash tool or at least run it. So we'll go ahead and flash tool, right click, run as admin as well. We'll load that up. And then finally, you will need to download the MIUI, uh, basically the ROM itself, the developer ROM. All right, so in order to download that, we need to get the fast boot ROM since uh, that is the proper file type. Um, so what we're going to need to do, go down to the Redmi Note 4 and latest China developer. So the MediaTek here, this is the global developer. We need the Chinese. Um, you can see there's Redmi Note 4 Qualcomm and then the Redmi Note 4 latest China developer um, since the the MediaTek variant is for the Chinese market. So go ahead and select that and download it. It's going to take a couple minutes to download. We'll be right back. Just as our download is just finishing up here. Open containing folder. So we can see that that's a TGZ file. So we're going to need to go and open it in 7-zip or WinZip or whatever um, archive folder that you use, you can see that there is an additional TGZ file within this one. So go ahead and extract that. Let's go ahead and just extract it to the my desktop here. And that too will take a couple couple seconds. All right, so that's done. So now we need to now open that file, that archive, which is a .tar, and we need to extract the files within that. So that way we can get access to um, all these different um, image files and things like that. So go ahead and extract that, which I've already done. 
Let me go ahead and just delete these. All right, so here is the extracted folder. As you can see, here's our images, things like that. Now we need to go ahead and open and get to your flash tool. So I've already have that open here. What we need to go ahead and do is once our flash tool is open, select the download agent. And we need to select the MTK all in one file, and that is gonna be a dot bin. And then the scatter loading file, we need to select that and go into that folder for your the image. Basically the Redmi Note for developer Chinese developer image go to images and then MTK 6797 Android scatter select that now what we're gonna go ahead and do is uncheck everything and we're gonna go ahead and select boot and system as well now what we're gonna go ahead and do is just en enable uh, developer options and tap multiple times to the ME ME M I U I. Now let's go over to developer options and enable USB debugging there. Let's go ahead and do that. And then let's go ahead and turn off our device. All right. Also, you want to make sure that your device is charged um, just so that way you don't run into any issues during the flashing installation process. So we're gonna go ahead now and connect your micro USB cable to your computer, but don't plug it into your uh, Redmi Note 4 just yet. All right, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is make sure that everything is unchecked except boot and system. So once that those are two checked, we're gonna go ahead and click on download. Now, your device is powered off, of course. You have your micro USB cable plugged into your computer already. Hold down the volume down and go ahead and plug in your device. Keep holding the volume down key until the flash tool recognizes um, the device. All right, phone just vibrated. We're gonna keep holding that down. It's in fast boot. All right, and Nothing showing up yet. Should see a progress bar coming up in like red or things like that, but nothing yet. All right, give me one second. Let me try and troubleshoot a few things here. All right, guys, so I am back. Um, I did some reading and we're gonna go ahead and download one additional file, it's a custom, it's the cust.image file. Go ahead and copy that on over to images and we're gonna replace this file that's in here. Copy and replace. All right, so now we're gonna select everything. Unselect preloader, for some reason my device was not uh, getting recognized on my computer at all. Um, so let's see if this fixes anything. So everything's selected. We're going to click download, volume down, and let's go ahead and plug that in. Keep holding it. Alright guys, I am back. I figured out the issue and that was the cable I was using. Um, so if you're having troubles, try a different cable, try a different USB port. Um, but it is now being recognized finally um, on my computer itself. So there's the Redmi Note 4. Um, so anyways, now we're back in business. Let me go ahead and power off the device. We're going to be still using the um, same method, the second method that I had mentioned um, by copying over the um, that custom image file. Let's see. 
So that cust dot image, copy that into the fast boot image folder and paste it into here. We're gonna make sure all these are selected and then just unselect, uncheck the preloader, the very first one there, okay? So here we go. Um, again, make sure your download agent is selected and TK all in one, and then your Android scatter file. All right, now, moment of truth. All right, volume down, plug in. Make sure you press the download button first before you plug it in or hold down that volume button. Okay, that's not good. All right, I'm gonna try a different version of this uh, flash tool here. All right, so my phone is still not um, onto the proper version. Let's go ahead and give this another go here. All right, power off. Download agent. Scatter file. Which will be images scatter file. There you go. Unselect preloader. All right, this is, the, again, we're gonna click download, volume down, plug the device in. Keep pressing the volume down button until it's recognized. Status D exceed max and number. Why is it doing that? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and restart my computer here real quick. All right, guys, so I finally figured it out. Um, after researching, trying to find an answer, um, so I found the answer on a, a French site, but basically what it did was um, uninstalled the drivers, restarted my computer, reinstalled the drivers again, restarted the computer, turned off the phone, Without pressing any buttons, um, I before I plug the phone in, I click on download, make sure preloader was unchecked, just plugged in the phone. I didn't press any volume down, press any power buttons, anything like that. I just plugged it in, and then it got recognized, and it's finally now starting the process. Um, so that was really strange, even though all the threads guides say hold on the volume, and then plug it in, hold down the volume down and the and the power button, and then plug it in. Um, neither of those worked for me. So, so yeah, so we're gonna finally uh, let this finish flashing. It's gonna take a couple minutes. So the check mark is done. We can go ahead and just power it on now. All right, so we need to go ahead and unplug and then power it on. Here we go. Man, this is taken. This is such a pain, painful, difficult process. I must tell you that. Um, not, not to mention how to even get a. You have to get approved to even unlock the bootloader of the device. So, um, thankfully, to flash the Chinese developer, you do not need to unlock the bootloader. But, um, but if you want to flash a TWRP, um, custom ROMs. Um, things like that, then you will need to unlock the bootloader, which I'll be doing in a separate video, so stay tuned for that. We're just waiting for the device to boot up. Thank you for your patience. This is the first time me doing this, um, particular with this device, with the MediaTek. Um, I have done it on the Mi 5, but that was using a Snapdragon 820, so a completely different process, um, different drivers, but at least I'm experiencing the troubles. I'm working through them and helping you all, and that's what I want to do. Um, so hopefully this works, so we'll be right back. All right, so it's finally booted up. We'll go ahead and, now we know it's a developer just because the lack of languages here. Bear with me one moment and let me get signed in. I'll be right back.
All right, we are in, guys. Finally. So we can go down to About Phone, and we see here MIUI 8 7.4.20 beta. So, and we can also know that this is the Chinese version there. So, that was a long time coming. Thank you for sticking in there with me, guys. So stay tuned for more videos and hit that subscribe button for those that find videos like this useful. Hopefully I'll be producing more content to help you and myself and everyone else that is needing help that's searching for answers. But thank you for watching. Again, this was Chris, and hopefully I will see you on the next one. Take care, everyone.